for the national anthems for the two home countries of the fighters in the main event. First up here to sing the national anthem of the Philippines, please welcome Lani Misalucha. resume. He's fought them all. Carlos Hernandez, Jesus Chavez, Paul Ayala, Guti Espadas, Marco Antonio Barrera. In all those fights, wars. He's never been in a dull fight that I can recollect. Can you, Rich? I've a never seen fight. Morales in a dull fight. A dull fight, no. 
He's had a couple of easy ones, but he, got, he even <laughs> got in a tough one a few years back at Staples. It wasn't supposed to be against a guy named Engine Chief. Yes, I remember, I remember the Roy Jones one. card. Yeah, I'll never forget that one. Brought to you in association with Corona Extra and HBO Pay-Per-View, sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Skip Avancino Jr., Executive Director Mark Ratner. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be Chuck Jampa, Dave Moretti, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, official weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 47 victories, including 34 KOs with only two defeats. Thomas y Caballeros, De la zona norte, Tijuana, Mexico, the three-time world champion, Eri, El Terrible Morales. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red. Official weight, 129 and one half pounds. Professional record, 39 victories, including 30 knockouts, with only two defeats and two bouts even. From General Santo City, the Philippines, the three-time champion of the world, Manny. The noise deafening in here. Final instructions. All right, coming. gentlemen, we want all the rules in that dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Quiero una pelea limpia. Ya le arreglan camerino. Trunks here. This a little high. Yours are a little high. Two punches here are still good. They put up that Olympia. I want a good, clean fight. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Talk to up. I don't know who the vendor was that sold all the Philippine flags, but he's rich tonight. He's made a killing. They are fired up at the MGM Grand tonight. As well as should be. This should be a fight for the ages. So sit back and enjoy 12 rounds. A super featherweight action. Don't blink. Pac-Man is always dangerous with any single punch. Pac-Man usually starts fast. Last time we saw him, he knocked Juan Manuel Marquez down three times in the first round. Left-hander, powerful, fast. I'm Alan Massengale along with Mario Lopez and Rich Murata, ringside in Las Vegas. We're glad you're here. Round one, Morales in the white trunks, Benny Pacquiao in the fire-breathing trunks. It was less than two years ago, I'll never forget it, Freddie Roach came to me on the day of a big fight card, the trainer of Manny Pacquiao, he said, hey Rich, I just got a fighter, he's fighting here tonight, I want you to watch him, Manny Pacquiao, he's the underdog in this fight, but I think he'll do pretty good, he was fighting Lelo Ladwaba for the title, not only did he do pretty good, but he amazed everyone, winning the championship over a very, very good fighter, boy was Freddie Roach right about that. And Freddie's one of the great trainers in the game, trains James Tony, Manny Pacquiao, had over 21 world champions. Manny fires the left. He's been working behind the jab, but he fired that left. Both of these fighters are used to dictating their pace and coming forward. Morales definitely being smart, definitely being conservative. Apparently has watched the Marquez fight a few times. Well, Morales has boxing skills. Uh, he doesn't always display them necessarily, but that was usually in the emotional fights with Barrera. But if you look at his other fights with uh, uh, Pauli Ayala, for example, highly skilled, massive uh, skills. 
Pacquiao the attack. And a taste of the Pacquiao power. Throw the big left hand. Oh, oh Morales oh, coming oh. back. Coming back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Morales fired up. Machismo with both men. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so much for feeling each other out, huh? Uh, I believe we've had spontaneous combustion here. Morales, power the attack. Manny says, bring it on. These are two very proud warriors in the ring. Now, how do you score this round? <laughs> they, they both get a 10-8. Even so far. <laughs> Good punch the Pacquiao. Morales takes it. It's the straight left, which is the big Pacquiao punch. Pacquiao wants to attack. Morales goes to the body. Pacquiao darts in and out, darts in and out, and he's so fast with his hand speed, by the time you try to defend it, he's already got more punches coming at you. Morales covering up, and he fires a left hand. Not the kind of fight Morales wanted this quick, but he's got it. Final 10 seconds of round one, what a round is been. with a big smile on his face. How'd you like that one? <laughs> wow. As a firecracker, wasn't it? Just adds to the whole night, gentlemen. That's Great night of fighting. That scorching action in the first round. Pacquiao on the attack, landed some big shots. Morales took them. We told you that he was going to have to weather the storm, and he did and came bouncing back. He caught Pacquiao up in the ropes. Amazing hands up. Okay, son. I thought Pacquiao's punches had a slightly greater effect in the first round than did uh, Morales' big shot. He definitely has a firepower, firepower, but you can also see Morales being Here we go, the heavier-handed of the two as far as being in the natural weight class. Manny Pacquiao's in the fire-breathing trunks. Morales in his usual white trunks. Round two. Maybe they'll start fighting in round two, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> Here comes Pacquiao doing his thing. Morales started very slowly in the Barrera fight. He just wasn't there on the first three rounds of his fight, that last fight. But he is forced into a situation where he has to wake up early here. Well, he had to know Pacquiao was going to come out strong like this, and he's usually a slow starter in most of his fights. But boy, he turns it on middle to the end. Good left hand for Pacquiao right there. Now, Morales could take a punch with the best of them. Well, he's only been down one time, that in the first fight with Marco Antonio Barrera, and most feel that that was not a legitimate knockdown anyway. Now he's on the attack using the left hand. Pulls back the right hand that throws it. Manny says, bring it on. Be careful what you wish for. Yeah, you won't see, you won't see that kind of emotion from Eric Morales. But he does get fired up. Oh, We've he seen does. Him go to wars. He's a true student of the game, and like Rich mentioned, very, very skillful. But when he wants to turn it into a slugfest, it's all action. Well, his game plan will be to counter some of those wild shots that Manny's throwing. That's got Manny going backwards. Pacquiao up on his toes. Freddie Roach told him to keep his hands up. And Morales, naturally, the bigger fighter of the two. I I'm not sure I've ever heard a crowd that is so evenly divided as, as this one is here right, tonight. Rich. It's unbelievable, which means you're going to have constant noise for one or the other guy. <laughs> About a minute to go in the second round. They tapered off just a little bit in round two, but not much. You know Manny's going to come. Well, they had a clash of heads, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, Morales does a good job with that left hand keeping Manny at bay. But he wants to land that straight right. I'll tell you what, if he can weather the storm these first few rounds, he could be very effective with that right hand later on. Well, he's doing a good job when, when the rush comes. Oh, just missing with the right. Manny throwing big punches. Most of those missed, though. Good defense by Morales. 
I think Eric settled into this fight real quick. I don't think he... I don't think he was messing around anymore. You're right, and he's not intimidated, Alan. He's no. not intimidated by his... He's too good to be intimidated. He's been through too much. And man, he's not intimidated because he's just a feisty character. He's just a natural-born warrior. Oh, and that was a big right hand, Eric Landon. Much better round for Eric Morales yes. that round than was the first. And Morales, as we Look listen to Freddie Roach here, Morales is boxing well. Nice All right, let's take a look at the action. Better round for Morales coming in, being the more aggressive fighter. At times getting Pacquiao backing up. Pacquiao doesn't want that. He wants to be the man coming forward. Do you see that good right hand? Guys, I thought that Morales fought that second round much the way that he was fighting Barrera in the second fight when he boxed and moved, fought a more scientific fight in that uh, of, of the three fights. He, he applied those principles in round two. No, you're right, Rich. And the problem is Pacquiao can keep up this pace all night. So it could come down very well to the last round. Round three, Manny Pacquiao, the pride of the Philippines, in the red trunks. Eric Morales in his usual white trunks, the pride of Tijuana Norte. From the toughest section of Tijuana, born in a gym. <laughs> That's right. God, we, I grew up in Chula Vista, which is the border town of Tijuana. And I'll tell you what, you don't want to get lost in his neighborhood in the middle of the night. Well, I sure, but he drives around in, with impunity. Nobody messes with Eric Morales down he's, there. He's a god down there. And both are lords of the ring tonight. I thought Pacquiao won the first round. I thought Morales applying those, as I said, those same kind of principles that he fought Barrera in round two, or rather the second fight of their trilogy, won round two. I agree with you. I have it one round apiece. And ironically, the best fight he fought against Pereira was that second one, and the judges were against him. And I thought he won it. So th those debates will go on forever. Good right hand from Morales. That back Good left Pacquiao. hand. Pacquiao looking to throw that left hand. Now they're fighting Pacquiao's type of fight. Morales has showed really good defense. Picking off some of those big punches that coming back with the counter. You guys get the feeling somebody might hit the deck in this fight. It's just a matter of time. It's like a time bomb waiting to go off. Round like, three. Like I was mentioning earlier, Rich, Morales is being very careful and very smart with his punches, but Pacquiao can keep up this pace all night, and he has to exchange with them if he, if he plans to win at least by, on the scorecards. Well, you, you know, he might be able to win fighting Pacquiao's fight. We don't know that. But Morales might be able to slug with him and win. But he had an outstanding cap, era, Morales, an outstanding training camp. He didn't have any extra people around, no big entourage. We'll see if he can weather this now. A lot of those punches, there was only two or three maybe solid blows. Yeah, Manny, Morales is using great movement, guys. And now he's back on the attack, using his left hand, and coming back to the Oh, coming hands. back strong. Back out throwing punches. Morales has never faced hand speed like this. Pacquiao's definitely the fastest fighter that he's faced. Uppercut. Pacquiao's never faced a fighter with all these weapons either. Everybody's on their feet here. <laughs> Final seconds of round three. Oh, Morales tried to just tee off with that one. He set him up with the left hand and threw that right. Wow. What a tough round to call. This is as fine a night of a boxing card as I've ever seen. Que busca? Que busca? You're asking him, what are you looking for, Eric? What are you looking for? They're telling Eric that he's doing really well in there. He's just got to throw the right hand more. But what are you looking for? All right, let's look at the replay now. 
of the action. Both men had their moments in this third round. Morales at long range landing that uh, sneaky left hand. Pacquiao answered back. There's no question about it. Here he comes with the, he starts those flurries. Left, right, left, right. He throws him a little bit wide. Morales using the right, head there. He got Pacquiao going backwards. I'll tell you, tremendous, unbelievable action. This is a tough round. Tough fight to call, gentlemen. Round four. These people paid a lot of money for these seats, but not a lot of them are using them. They're all getting up during the rounds, and I don't blame them. Yeah, and both sides. <laughs> Chance of Manny, Manny. They'll come back with El Terrible on the other side. <laughs> Round four. It's been action packed as we expected it would be. How many wars has Eric Morales been in? Countless. And all against world class caliber competition. Manny able to step out of that. Rounds flying by. We're round four already. Morales gets Manny to go backwards. What's really amazing about Morales, despite those wars, nice counter right. Nice counter right for Morales. He raises his arms. He senses something. He senses something. Manny on his bicycle. He comes back throwing. He's like the Energizer Bunny, I tell you. Two great warriors. You see, Eric is fighting a very scientific fight here. He's really fighting very smart. Very smart. But it's what we said. He, he's got these skills. He doesn't always showcase them. One of the most complete packages in the history of the sport. And Eric Morales. But you got such a difficult fighter in front of you in that he's got great footwork, tremendous hand speed, a lot of power, and he's a southpaw. Morales using all of the ring. He's fighting real smart here in this round. He's had Manny on the, on the retreat at the most. Oh! Morales unloading now, and Manny says, no big deal. The problem for Manny is he's been going backwards. He can survive those onslaughts, but you're not going to win the round. That's exactly right. He expected more of Manny coming forward than Morales, but it's Morales on the stalking. Morales trying to pot, I mean, excuse me, Pacquiao trying to pot shot him here, moving and just popping one at a time. I thought that was a much better round for Eric Morales. I've had them alternating rounds so far. I've got it all even, gentlemen, in two rounds each. And that's what oh, I've got. Okay, okay, okay. situation same scenario counter right by now Morales did have some moments with Pacquiao up against the ropes but Pacquiao wheeled out of there nicely to get out of trouble again impossible to tip which way this is going to go hard to believe but Pacquiao has only fought 12 rounds one time which could be a factor as it goes later on into the fight well, he fought the 12 against Marquez and that was a grueling fight. Had it not been for Barrera and Morales last year, Marquez Pacquiao would have been fight of the year. It came in second in all the balloting. Okay, round five. 130-pound championship. Manny's been a little bit surprising going backwards to me. For good oh, and get caught with a nice uppercut. Manny had to shake the cobwebs out after that one. Morales has every punch in the business. 
Manny will come back answering with three, four, five punch combinations. I think that that uppercut from Morales could be a real definitive punch tonight. Sometimes you just got to rip it right up the middle, Rich. When you got a guy coming at you with open arms. And it doesn't matter how many punches you throw in those combinations, it's how many that land. And Morales is doing a beautiful job of defending a lot of them. Back out digging to the body. Some holding going on. Joe Cortez warning him, stop, stop that business. We don't want to see a clash of heads here. We're in round five. Morales sticking that jab out there, measuring the distance. Manny's so quick, he's got great defense. What a matchup. He's elusive, Allen. He darts in and out. Look out for that uppercut. Yeah. Morales just landed it. Pacquiao felt it. We got some blood for Pacquiao. Pacquiao's cut in his right eye. Bad. And it's a bad cut. We're going to have the uh, doctor take help. a look at it. Yeah. They've been coming close, clashing heads all night. It looks like one of the headbutts finally caught him. Yeah. Well, we go to the scorecards after four rounds, Rich. That, that, that came from a punch. Yeah. Joe okay, Cortez says it came from a punch. Uh, if they stop the fight, Morales would be a TKO winner. He called it a punch. He called it a punch, no headbutt. That's okay. a bad gash. Okay. He's going to let him go, but Pacquiao looks kind of he a little like, out of it. He does. He definitely looks a little woozy, and that's above the eye. Blood will trickle into that eye. And Morales is a master of taking advantage of such situations like this. The Mexican contingent in here is not happy. Look at that bruising under the eye. Wow. The, Ma the Mexican contingent here is not happy that Manny's getting this much time to recover, although he's beaten up pretty badly. I tell you, Eric Morales is a dangerous man when he counters you. And a great finisher, Alan. See, Manny's got to shake this off. We've talked about it a million times how a fighter reacts to a cut. Beautiful right hook by Morales. Morales already having a big round. Fighting very smartly here. Manny's trying to do his Manny thing. Yeah, but and Morales has got to realize that the Pacquiao's going to fight out of a sense of desperation here, and he's going to have to be ready for that. But if that blood starts coming down into the eye, Pacquiao's going to be in deep trouble. And Morales doing a great job of just jabbing at it, jabbing at it. That's right. He's just firing the jab away because Morales is smart. He knows what he's got there now. Manny's in a bit of trouble. Can't see out of that eye too well. So Morales is going to look for that jab on that eye. There he throws it out there. Pacquiao seems a little discouraged going back to his corner. They're asking Manny to calm down in the corner. That's a deep cut. All right, now here. You can't even take you to this guy, okay? All right, back him up. A little combination. You heard him coming in here with that hook. All right, let's take a look now. If we can see, there's the right hand, and then they do bang heads. Contrary to what Joe Cortez said, that was definitely a headbutt. There was a headbutt. He's saying it was the punch that opened the cut, but it was such a bang-bang kind of deal that how could anybody be sure? You can't be sure, but, maybe, it, but it's a very significant distinction. And a very significant decision by, by Joe, Joe Cortez. Cortez. Yes. Who does not have a replay. He's got to call it as he sees it, and I can see how he would call it a punch if he didn't see the headbutt right behind it. But we thought it was a headbutt. And Cortez obviously feeling that it was the right hand first that landed in that spot that caused the cut. And Cortez has done dozens of championship fights. Definitely not a novice in the situation. 
Round six, good body punch from Morales. You see how the Pac-Man reacts to all the adversity. That's part of the game. The two fighters are wearing gloves called winning gloves as opposed to the Reyes gloves that Pacquiao wanted to use tonight. So there was real controversy about that. Those are the gloves that Morales prefers. And now Pacquiao turning it on. And getting hit with a jab. Freddie Roach was very critical of Pacquiao's promoter, Mirad Muhammad, in fact, for not being aware of that situation or not fighting for that situation beforehand. Morales being very patient, knows, knows he has time on his side, and just shooting a laser jab at the cut of Pacquiao. It's getting very bloody, wide open again. Well, we've had a lot of blood spilled in this arena tonight. Look how patient Morales is, though. Fighting well, scientifically. Uh, he's into it, well into it now. That Pacquiao's trying to unload. Eric steps out of it. Eventually, Morales will have to counter. Beautiful right hand. Counter. You saw it. There it was, the right hand. The right hand, but it came back with the left. Very Pacquiao's on the ropes. Morales in control at the moment. Really bloody face for Manny Pacquiao. Uh, such an unfortunate turn of events for him to suffer that cut. Then have it ruled the way it was ruled. But just putting him in a position that he's really got to press. And Morales knows what to do with it. Pacquiao needs something dramatic to turn it around. He needs to land that straight left and deposit Morales in the seat of his pants the way he did Marquez. But with the granite chin Morales has, that's going to be a tough task. Another good jab for Morales. Still trying to work on that eye, final seconds. Man, what a fight. Woo, it's a war in there, boys. Freddie Roach again trying to calm Manny Pacquiao, trying to calm the corner down. Here's the exchange in that last round. Pacquiao drove Morales back. Drove him into the ropes with it, but at long range, Morales with a good right hand, and that ended up hurting Pacquiao and sending him back. I've given the last three rounds to Morales. I have him out in front of this fight. And I agree with you, Rich. And the momentum definitely seems to be going in his favor. Round seven scheduled for 12. Tow towels all in the ring. Here we go. I tell you what, if you're a fight fan and you, don't, you didn't buy this fight, you're never going to forgive yourself. Here comes Pacquiao with a good right left. That's what he needed to change the direction as I thought. Those were hard punches. And those were punches that have knocked lesser fighters down. And Morales took them pretty well, although he felled them. Another good combination. Two jabs and a straight left for Pacquiao. Well, so you, you've always got to respect power. Say, so yeah, Manny Pacquiao has that power. You're always in the fight when you have punching power. Exactly. Like that. <laughs> this is a good start round seven for Pacquiao. Good hard body shots. Good left hand got in on Morales. There's that uppercut, Rich. Now Morales is on the attack. 
I can hear Manny grunting with every punch he throws. He's trying to get all his power. Morales with the famous, uh, was that leg punch? <laughs> yeah, he was mainly just getting him off his back with the weight. <laughs> Beautiful uppercuts with an overhand right. Morales turning it on to the end of the fight, round here. Now they're into it. Toe to toe action. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. There'll be, there'll be no style points in this round. I don't think the fans, these 14,000 plus, came here looking for style tonight. No. It's not the ice capades. Morales with that beautiful straight right to the body that he's so famous for. Good round for Pacquiao. Morales did a good job. Oh, oh, oh. And a huge right. That's that big right. That's the right we were looking for, but managed fighting right back out of it. And that's the patience paying off right there. And caught him right in the eye that was already cut. Morales has been a technician working on that eye. Look at the courage of Pacquiao to fight through this adversity he's been confronted with. Oh, what a punch. The leather is flying here. You can just hear these punches. Back Morales just missed with a huge uppercut. Final seconds of round seven. What a round. Why? What a round. I tell you, this is some night of boxing. This is a great night, Ridge. Why can't they all be like this? He's feeling it too, believe me. Manny, it's good round you back this guy up, guys. All right, take a look at this incredible action. Pacquiao with the strong left. Morales answered back with a straight right cross. Blood flying everywhere. Morales really doing work in the last minute of that round. Pacquiao bravely trying to come back. But Morales' punches that round had the greater uh, damaging effect. And after every exchange, both constantly shaking their head to show that it didn't now, hurt. We're going to round eight. And Rich, you know, if you got Morales winning the last four rounds, when, at what point do you think he might start thinking about winning a, a decision and not, and not risk that power? Or can he afford to, to do that? Knowing Eric, I don't think he'll ever think about that. No. Because it's obvious if he's smart, he can outpoint Manny. But Manny, that was going to take his one punch to put him right back in this thing. And that's a beautiful counter left hook. I have the fight even, Alan. All right, so we got a real difference of opinion going here, and the judges may also have that difference of opinion. Yeah, but Mario trains with Manny. <laughs> I'm not being biased just because he's my stable mate. <laughs> <laughs> but the eye is, de is I was definitely just, I was just joking. <laughs> Good punch from Morales once again. It's the kind of fight you hate to see either fighter lose, to be honest about it. But somebody has to. That's why we come and pay the money. And it's the kind of fight that you hate to see a cut be a factor. Yeah, it's always a bad thing. But unfortunately, it's going to be when you have two guys lunging at one another like these guys are. Quick little punches on the inside. Morales. Every time Morales sees an opening, he goes for it. Manny coming back. Depends what you like, the high volume out punch or the crisper, harder punches. Got a long way to go in this fight if it goes. We're in round eight. Eric Morales, blood spattered on his white trunks. Manny Pacquiao, blood all over his face, dripping from a cut over his left eye. Left cheek bruised severely. And Pacquiao's mouth a little open, breathing a little heavy. The two fights we've seen here tonight may go one, two in fight of the year balloting at the end of the year. <laughs> Definitely the card of the year, the fight card of the year, I'll tell you that. That's what, that's what top rank provides. Great fight cards. Morales still pouring it on. Manny says, hit me again. Manny answers every time despite the odds against him. With one eye. 
damaged severely. Here he comes again. Well, it may not be hurting Pacquiao. Morales is definitely scoring. Yeah, Pacquiao got in a couple there. And he's encouraged all of a sudden. The energy that Pacquiao has is unbelievable. Relentless in his attack. Morales throwing a big right hook. Manny just got a good punch on Morales. Final seconds of round eight. What a round. I have never heard a house more electric than this house tonight. I've heard some as, as, as loud, but never louder than this. It's like a rock concert in here. Don't talk to him. Let him relax. You know what? Now he's seeing press on. Calm down. Don't talk to him. Let him relax. Press, Come on. <laughs> We round out this end right here. You know the body? All right, let's take a look at some of the action from the round. Boy, that was a solid left hook from Eric Morales. Bent down, Pacquiao fell for it. Coming on later with the right hand, Pacquiao acknowledging the power of the punch. Pacquiao, though, came on strong at the end of the round. I thought the last minute of that round might have earned Pacquiao the round, in fact. That was his best round in a while. What were they saying over the Morales corner? I couldn't quite catch it. They're wanting Morales to box more. They feel he's ahead. So they don't want him to risk suffering bad consequences with Manny's power. Well, he doesn't have any choice. When Manny comes, you got to do something. You can't run. There's nowhere to hide in there, is there, Rich? <laughs> no, <laughs> not with this guy. Morales has nice white shorts. Round nine. Plum now. Hey, Morales has now got pink shorts on. Yeah. <laughs> and Manny Pacquiao's flames are still flaming. Round nine. Action packed. One of the best fights well you'll ever see. Pacquiao fighting more in spurts though now. He just got caught with a left. Stiff, stiff jab from Eric Morales. It seems every time Manny gets hit hard, he seems to come out with a spurt. He comes out with great expert. Not all the punches land, but I got to tell you, there's something to be said for volume. And if you saw that flurry by Pacquiao, you saw that he still has his hand speed. I don't think he's going to lose his speed. Might lose some blood tonight, but no speed. And these two fighters definitely have respect for each other. You don't see Morales touch gloves too often through, throughout the fight. He's done it a few times with Pacquiao. Well, there's not the distaste that he has for Barrera. That's just a, that's a hate fest. Yeah, I see, they, that, go, that becomes an emotional fight. But Morales is very measured tonight. He's really using his head. Yeah, he's let his head get away from him. The only time I've ever seen it is those Barrera fights. When it, it's just, they just detest each other so much. A fellow countrymen. Round nine. Here comes Manny. Now, Eric's able to keep him off with a jab for a while, but you can't do it all night. Manny is coming. And coming. What a fighter. A nice left landed my man. What a fighter. Both of them. Now Eric's coming. Like I said, you can't keep him off of that jab all night. Still oh, stop, stop. Final 30 seconds of round nine. Oh my, guys. He hurt Morales a little with that little shot. Sometimes those short punches will do it. Especially when they have the power of Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's 100% warrior. 100% warrior, and he just got hit again, which he usually counters. Here he comes. Oh, back. what a flurry. That was fun. Look at Way that face. to close out Manny Pacquiao. I don't think Manny's going to be at the gym Monday, Mario. <laughs> I don't think so.
All right, thank you. If you take a look, you see Morales. Look at that. Look at that fine boxing from Morales, sticking him long with the jab. <laughs> But when he does that, he wakes Manny up. <laughs> That's what I said every it's time. It's just amazing. And Pacquiao tries to fire back. <laughs> and look at that. We answers three, four, five punch combinations. It's unbelievable. Well, let's see. We got seven. Let's see how many rounds we got in now. Going to round number 10. And what do you got it, guys, after nine rounds? After nine rounds, I have it even, gentlemen. Even. Even yes. after nine. And I have it 87-84 uh, for Eric Morales. Did you chicken out and call one of those rounds even there, Mario? I did. <laughs> you can't do that, Mario. You can't do that. <laughs> I, was, I, I didn't want to do the math, Mario. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to call. <laughs> it is tough to call. Round 10, we're, we're down to the business end of the fight, folks. Down to the nitty gritty rounds. They've done a great job on that cut for Manny and it hasn't really been a factor for him, he doesn't care. A lot of blood on the trunks. And you know what, Morales still trying to hammer away at that spot with that left, with that left jab. You know, the cut man's done a great job because I really thought it was dangerously close to being stopped. Body shot from Morales. Eric Morales, you take a look at him. He's doing the same thing here in round 10 that he was doing round one. In other words, he came into this ring with a firm idea of how he was going to fight this fight tonight. And he a stuck with his game, game plan. plan. Look at look at him. He's been executing it. That may not lead him to victory because Pacquiao's still alive. Very much alive. And Pacquiao has also stuck with his game plan, which is attack, attack, attack. <laughs> Good counter for Morales. And that right hand slowed Manny down. Yep. Morales has got him in the corner. Still talking him. Still stalking him. And then Manny fires a right. It just seems to wake him up every time he gets in trouble. Pacquiao. What a fighter. <laughs> I'll tell you, Pacquiao got slammed a good one. One of the mouthpieces fell out. I'm not sure who's. But I don't know if Joe Cortez has noticed it yet. I don't believe he has. And I don't think Manny Manny's, cares. Manny Pacquiao's mouthpiece. And to take those shots from Morales with no mouthpiece, that's all we need is another cut. It seems list. to have inspired him. He seems to have been inspired, and Morales is coming on around 10. Back and forth they go. You know, when Pacquiao got cracked that big right hand, he showed a lot of head movement again. He somehow managed to work his way out of that. Now, that, the crowd's booing, but the fact of the matter is, is that mouthpiece came out 45 seconds ago. <laughs> that's right. It's not like he just spit it out. They should be applauding. You could get your mouth really wrapped, uh, ripped up in 45 seconds. There's, there's nothing to boo about in this fight, believe me. I am, uh, I am amazed at Manny Pacquiao and the way he charges every time. It's like, it's like he gets electrified when he gets hit. Whether he's getting hit or not, he's still coming forward. Morales has turned southpaw, and he just hit Pacquiao with a hard right jab. Uppercut being very effective in the southpaw stance. Look at this. I've never seen this ever from Eric Morales in the southpaw stance. What is that all about? The only way I'd ever see that, I think, is if one of his hands is hurt. What a fight. Who'd you get that round to, Rich? I gave it to Eric Morales again. I gave it to Morales as well. Give me a ring. Shut it. Okay, relax. Give him a drink. Shut in. Go give him water. Let him relax. All right, about midway through the round, there it is, a hard left hand by Morales, and the mouthpiece came out of Pacquiao. Now, Joe Cortez did not notice it for quite a while. There's the right hand. It was a big one for Morales. <laughs> I tell you, Pacquiao is just, he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. And Eric Morales knows it. Well, he's truly carrying the, the weight of his country on his shoulders, and he is representing well. Again, with the respect. I love to see that. 11th round. They've certainly earned each other's respect. In the center of the ring, big right hands from Manny.
You know, it's funny. We're heading into the championship rounds here. I believe Eric Morales is winning this fight and is in front. By a slight margin, I would but say. But Manny Pacquiao can still win this fight. Yes. He's still got he his speed. The wherewithal. He's got to land a big shot. Morales has absorbed the big shots of Pacquiao better than anybody I've ever seen fight, man. He's an underrated chin. But we've seen it time and time again, especially Barrera, Morales number one. And I'll tell you, Barrera doesn't have anywhere near the power Pacquiao does. He's got good power, though. Beautiful right counter from Morales. And again comes Manny. Well, he's not fight, uh, Morales isn't in that southpaw stance that stunned us at the end of round 10. And you know what? I wonder why he switched, because he was being pretty effective in that stance. I've never seen him do it. Good right hand from Morales. Well, clearly Pacquiao was never expecting it. Eric shaking his head saying, you missed, Manny, you missed. Those are effective punches that Morales is throwing. Those little short, hard punches. Morales turning it on when he has to. Good right hand. I tell you what, Manny's a warrior. But Morales is so effective. He's such a great boxer and puncher. Right hand. That was a hard right hand by now, Morales. Now Manny comes back. Took it and kept on coming, Rich. And slowed Morales up a little bit. Now here he comes again. Both of these fighters showing tremendous heart and great chins tonight. Uh, both just showing great courage. Manny Pacquiao's been bleeding most of the fight, dealing with adversity, dealing with a situation that was ruled, a cut from a punch. So he knew he didn't want the fight to stop. Ten seconds left in round 11, and we're... I hesitated to say we were going to 12 because I never know. Now we are. Manny might have stolen that round in the end. That's it. Okay, that's it. One second. Okay. Give me the Vaseline. I've got Morales leading by two rounds going into the final round. You're winning the fight, they're telling him. You're winning the fight. Box this round. It's nothing. It's nothing. You got it. Let's do this. But you have to keep hitting him. You gotta keep hitting him. Keep with the left. Keep with the left. There's good work with the right cross after the jabs, and then Morales goes a little right cross crazy. But Pacquiao came back and landed one of his strongest punches of the fight. The late boy. 14,000 on their feet, Alan. Exactly. The 12th and final round. It could come down to this. Pacquiao's gonna let it all hang out. In my scorecard, Pacquiao would need a knockout. Well, you could bet he let it all hang out. Now, you got to remember, Rich, Barrera, Morales has lost two tough decisions to Barrera, right? and that might be in the back of his mind, that, hey, I just can't go out here and try to stay away from you. i got to fight, because he knows what it's like to be on the wrong end of a decision, in his opinion. You know, I, I just can't believe how strong Eric is in there tonight against this great fighter, Manny Pacquiao, because I saw him at the weigh-in yesterday. I swear he tripped going up the steps. He looked so weak, like he was hardly going to make it up the steps. And then he looked gone, but tonight, look at him. Unbelievable. Coming out of the tunnel, I agree. He looked a little lethargic. He didn't have that look in his eye. But, man, what a professional. Never underestimate El Terrible. We're in the final round, folks. One of the best fights you'll ever see. Two of the best fighters to ever come along. Now he turns southpaw. Right. Now he goes right. southpaw. Morales just went southpaw again. Throwing a straight right out there. And picking off that right hand. Good right hand 
Robert Morales, a good recounter for Pacquiao. Staggered Pacquiao with that right. Flaming away now. Man around. Pacquiao's going for the gusto. Pacquiao's let it all hang out. I told you he would. He's eating a lot of right hands. Pacquiao's a little wobbly, but he keeps coming. He keeps coming. Now Morales still in the south post stance. Morales nearly slipped. What a fight. What a round, gentlemen. A minute to go in this fight. I don't want this fight to end. And Morales still fighting left-handed. Good right hand for Pacquiao. Morales is a little wobbly. 45 seconds left in this fight. Can he stay on his feet? Man, he's got to let it go right here. Hearts are beating fast in the Philippines and Mexico tonight, not to mention here at the MGM Grand Arena. I've never heard it noisier. Blood streaming down the face of Manny Pacquiao. He's got just 20 seconds to go. Morales has been hurt. Pacquiao pouring it on, not slowing down since the first round. Final 10 seconds. Mario, you may be a great actor, but you'll never be in as great a drama as we're watching right now. I agree with you, Rich. And it's over. The both still standing. Awesome. winning this fight. I don't know that the judges will agree with me, but I believe that Eric Morales won this fight here tonight. It was a spectacular event. Both sides can be proud of what they did. And as far as Bob Arum is concerned, congratulations on a great card. I'll tell you what, I'll take the same card three months ago. Give me all the same <laughs> Give me all the fights. Let's do it again in June. Take a look at it here, Rich. All right. So, an unbelievable 12th round. You knew it was going to happen. Morales switched and went southpaw in that last round. Landing that right as Pacquiao was coming in hard, but Pacquiao just was not going to pay any attention to what he got hit with in that last round. And there is Eric Morales. He can be proud of his effort tonight. I don't think he's ever looked better. I tell, you know, it's amazing. We were talking about all the wars that he's been in, but the guy just doesn't get old. He doesn't show the effects of those wars, Al. Well, I didn't think that at the end, at the 12th round, I didn't think that he would box. I knew that that's the, that's the way Eric is. Pacquiao saluting his fans, but it, well, we'll see. You know, the judges are going to decide. I'm sure both sets of fans are hopeful right now, but I believe that Morales won this fight. How did the LA Times have it? 115, 113, Morales, LA Times. Thank you, Michael Buffer. Here at the MGM Grand, we saw two of the best fighters, not just in this division, but pound for pound in the world today, have the courage to face each other. A round of applause for both of these gladiators. We go to the scorecards. Paul Smith, Dave Moretti, and Chuck Jampa all have the same score. 115 to 113 to the winner by unanimous decision de la zona norte Tijuana Mexico Eric El Terrible Morale No disappointment tonight for Eric Morales from the judges and I think the difference Rich is Manny Pacquiao's got a great heart, he's a great warrior, but he doesn't have the skills, and Morales was able to put all his skills together to do what he had to do to win this fight. And I believe it's a very fair decision. I've been checking around the media role. 
and almost everybody, myself included, had the fight scored 115-113 for Eric Morales. Pacquiao was in the fight all the way. He was dangerous up until the final moment of the fight. He was never out of it. A magnificent performance by Eric Morales, a brilliant boxing performance by Eric, who showed those skills that we knew he had besides the great heart and chin. And he needed everything, that whole package tonight, to beat a great fighter in Manny Pacquiao. You have to be impressed with Manny Pacquiao. The adversity he was fighting through, the terrible cut. You won that fight. You what, won that fight. What disappointment he must feel. What a great, great warrior Manny Pacquiao is. They're yelling in the corner of Pacquiao that you won that fight. From all of the ringside observers in the media that I've uh, talked to here, almost uh, all of the ones I've talked to, I've done a quick survey here. I just talked to Michael six, Katz. He had it 115, 113. I've talked to steam boxing writer. six members of the media, all of whom did score it for Eric Morales. So you think they're going to do it again, Rich? I say do this fight and do uh, RC <laughs> and do RC and Hussein again as well. I'd like to see that Hussein fight again if Hussein would get a better game plan than getting on the ropes. Jeff Phoenix got to be frustrated tonight. There's a frustrated man. Let's take a look at the recap. All right, it started with Manny Pacquiao coming out bombing in round uh, number one. I gave him that round. As the fight began to wear on, though, Morales' skills began asserting themselves, although with Pacquiao just constantly coming forward like that, he was able to win rounds. And as the fight got later on, Pacquiao still retained his power, still retained his speed of hand, but Morales sneaky with that right hand hurt Morales, or Pacquiao in the ninth round. Then in the 11th, Pacquiao first bounced him off of the ropes. Morales came back, and then, of course, we had the fireworks in the 12th round leading to the close but unanimous decision victory for Eric Morales. That young man has nothing to be ashamed of. I know he's upset. You know, when you give an effort like that, when you give an effort like that, you, you, you can't hang your head. You really can't. And uh, he has a lot to be proud of, and all his fans do too. Mananatiling champion, yung sinabi mo doon sa interview natin, gusto mo kahit anong mangyari sa laban. Mananatili kang champion. Manny, ako na nagsasabi sa'yo, buong Pilipinas, maniniwala na champion ka pa rin. Ay, ay marami marami salamat uh, unang-una sa'yo at naniniwala ka na um, ako ang nanalo at um, Pilipinas. <laughs> I do my best but you know, uh, the bad, it's bad decision so um, be relaxed this time. That's, oh. that's the part of the game. Galing mo talaga. Alam mo, Manny, isa sa mga natutunan ko. No? Parang merong isang, ano, eh, merong isang passage, sabi niya nga eh, you run a good race, you finish the race, no? Nang tumbaga, tatapusin mo yung karera. Dito, you fought a good fight, and you finish the fight. Parang ganyan na sinasabi. Hindi ka sumuko, Manny. Um, yeah, um, alam ko, uh, pag nung nagkatan ako, uh, nagbiakan ako, ay hindi, hindi na makakita yung isang mata ko kasi sa tulo ng dugo. Pero, you know, uh, I just uh, keep on uh, punching and, you know, and um, I do my best. Ginawa kong lahat para ma, 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 manalo at, uh, you know, alam naman ng mga tao na uh, it's, it's, a, it's close fight but I think I'm, I won the fight. Gano kalaki ba yung puso mo niya? Yung puso ko masusukat ko. No? Pero ito yata ang puso ni Manny Pacquiao kasi laki ng katawan mo eh. May mga pagkakataon na pwede ka nang humigaw. Yung mga ibang boksingero na kalaban ni Morales, umayaw na lang. Pero ayaw mong ipakita. Sobra ang pride mo, Manny. Ayaw mong bumaba. Ayaw mong sumuko. Hindi. Uh, kailangan patulogin niya ako um, bago niya ako matalo. Pero habang hanggat alam ko, hanggat, hanggat, hanggat may lakas akong pwedeng lumaban, lalaban ako para sa karangalan ng bansa natin. Ayaw ko yung mapahiya yung bansa natin. Pilipinas, mga Pilipino, matatapang to. Matapang nga, sobra tapang. Mabilis lang, Manny, no? gloves pag-uusapan. Sinabi mo kanina, Coach, we have Coach Freddy Roach. Coach, the gloves. 
big factor in the fight. We, uh, you know, real punches, gloves, Manny would knock this guy out, I felt. But, you know, we would use these pillows that Murad Muhammad picked and let, uh, never asked Manny what gloves he wanted to wear. And it, it was a mistake that should have never been made. But, you know, um, it, was great, experience. it was a great fight, though. And uh, Manny fought a very brave fight, very close fight, and I'm very proud of him. One quick one. You don't call Manny, Manny at the ring. You call him son. Uh, it's just an expression. He's like my, he's like a son to me, and uh, I care so much about Manny, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of him right now. All right, coach. Balik tayo kay Manny. Manny, itong laban na to, maraming nagsasabi, eh, pwede umulit, pwede maging trilogy, pwede maging part four. Yung una lang, gusto nating tignan, sinusukat mo ba sa may respeto ka na, may pinakita kang respeto kay, kay Morales, kay Eric, dun sa mga unang rounds? Um... Medyo uh, tinansa ko muna kung anong suntok ang pwedeng ano pero bubuhos na sana ako nung ilang mga round na kaya lang um, nagkaroon ako ng hitbat so parang nawala nawala ako sa sa yung I mean yung, yung timing nawala yung plano ko nawala yung timing ko kasi isang mata lang yung makikita eh isang mata lang makikita mag, nakikita ko yung suntok niya pero bahala na pagpasok niya susuntok lang ako ng bahala na bahala na yung kumbaga sa ano maraming suntok sa ilalim so hindi ko makita yung uh, yung kanang uh, suntok niya. Maraming tama na inabot si Morales sa iyo. Ang dami mong ibinato, ang daming tumama sa kanya. Nakita nating naririnig siya. Nagulat ka ba na nakatayo pa rin siya kung sa iba 'yon? Palagi ko 10 taon na pinataob mo do sa buong laban na 'yon. Oo nga, pero um, 'yun nga, malaking gloves 'yun eh, yung uh, ginamit namin. So medyo medyo may kaibahan sa Reyes, pero feeling mo hindi naging puro yung patama gaya nung nung pangunan na kinakatakutan natin. Um, talagang matindi yung patama ko, you know? Kasi feel ko rito niya mo. Oo, oh, nakikita ko na maga. Pero ngayon, walang bali ngayon. Mani, itong naniniwala ka, di ba? Napakataas ang pananalig mo. Naniniwala ka na ang pagdyo, sinara ang isang bintana, nagbubukas lang isang pinto. At nagbusara ng pinto, magbubukas ang isang bintana. Ibig sabihin, matalo ka rito, merong mga ibang opportunities. Hindi pa natatapos ang karir mo. Merong pang inihahanda ang Panginoon para sa'yo. Hindi naman ako natalo talaga ngayon sa love fight na to. Hindi hindi yung um, natalo ako dito. Pareho kami dalawa panalo, masiyahan yung mga tao. So, alam ko pag magrematch kami, lahat ng tao manonood, lalong man manood sila balik at marami pang manonood ulit. Alam mo ni isa na masasabi ko dito sa kagalingan mo sa husay mo. Hindi ka lang ng boxing hero eh. Isa kang tunay na bayani, no? ipinakita mo sa bayan natin na gaya nung huli, no? Kahit na sandaling sandali eh pwede nating ipakita no na pwede mong pagsama-samahin yung mga kapatid natin ngayong araw walang politika ngayong araw walang relihiyon ngayong araw isang Dios na pinaniniwalaan natin at ikaw yung isang bayani na pinaniniwalaan namin um maraming maraming salamat sa uh, sa kanilang lahat no at nagkaisa sila at uh, maraming maraming salamat sa Panginoon siguro um gusto ng Panginoon na uh, matalo may may paraan Siguro ginusto ng Panginoon pero uh, may kapalit yan, you know. Um, bahala na ang Panginoon. Hindi pa rin ako uh, nawala ng, ng lakas ng loob. Nandito ako, um, buo ang loob, paniniwala sa Panginoon. So uh, sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta at mga nanonood ngayon, lalo lalo na sa mga kababayan kong Pilipinas, uh, marami marami salamat po sa walang sawang pagsuporta ninyo at um, Asahan nyo po, lahat ng labang ko ay gagawin ko po lahat na makaya ko para manalo. Pero, you know, um, grabing paghirap ko. Naging saya ko ng two months. Pero, you know, siguro, um, uh, may, may paraan ng Panginoon kung bakit ako natalo. Pero, uh, Nick Bitter Lux next time. Uh, marami marami salamat po. At uh, talagang uh, uh, yung labang ko na to ay uh, kasama ko po kayong lahat mga kababayan ko. At uh, ang... ang hindi ko po pinakita ang aking kaduwagan. Uh, lumaban po ako para sa kapakanan ng bansa natin. So, maraming maraming salamat po at God bless you po. God bless you all. Um, lalo na na sa'yo, maraming salamat sa inyo. <laughs> si Manny Pacquiao, mga kaibigan, itong taong na ito, maipagmamalaki natin. Isang magiting na boksingero, pero isang mas magiting na tao. Isang taong nagmamahal sa kanyang pamilya at isang taong marunong tumanaw sa mga blessings na binigay sa kanyang Panginoon. Manny, congratulations. Kahit sabi nga nila, sa mata nila, nanalo yung isa. Pero ikaw ay eh, mananatiling champion, hindi lang ngayon, pero panghabang panahon. Maraming maraming salamat, Manny. Ay, maraming maraming salamat po at uh, nangyari na po, tanggapin na po, na tayo, na, tanggapin na po natin na, na, na ganun ang desisyon. Pero uh, alam nyo naman po, uh, sa puso ninyo, sa puso ko, uh, panalo tayo. It's, it's close fight. So, 
um, wag ho kayo mawala na pag-asa uh, ako'y narito at uh, matatag pa rin lalaban pa, hindi susuko Mani, maraming maraming salamat, maraming salamat. bayani ka Mani Pacquiao po mga kaibigan, pamula dito sa Las Vegas. Ako po si Chino Trinidad. Nagpapasalam sa Solar Sports Network at sa Smart Padala at sa inyong mga kababayan natin na hindi sumukong maniwala kay Mani Pacquiao. Maraming maraming salamat po. Now Manny is going to be entering 
to a song that he rapped to, he sang, his native Philippines. And he actually had some help producing it from one of the Black Eyed Peas, who was uh, also a Filipino descent. Yes, last year he was a movie star, now he's a, um, a music he's a music well. artist. Yeah, he takes advantage of all of the uh, outlets. Uh. Here comes the Pac-Man. If he doesn't beat Morales this time, he'll never beat him. Can have a more solid camp. <laughs> there was also they may a, never want to fight again. <laughs> well, there was a lot of chaos around his training camp last year, and there was chaos in his corner last year. Freddie Roach was constantly having to tell the people around there, "Calm down, calm down." I remember that. And, uh, and none of that is going to be in existence here tonight. Good. Go to Michael Buffer for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Las Vegas is proud to welcome you to the Thomas and Max Center, Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present the main event of the evening. Twelve rounds of boxing in the super featherweight division. On the line, the WBC international title. This contest is sponsored by your undisputed champion, the King of Beers, Budweiser, and sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Skip Avancino, Jr., Executive Director Mark Ratner. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be Dave Moretti, Jerry Roth, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action inside the ring, referee Kenny Bayless. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, courtesy of Win Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing white with flames, the visual weight, 128 and one half pounds. Professional record, 40 victories, including 31 knockouts with only three defeats and two draws. From General Santo City, Philippines, the two-time world champion, Manny Heckman. Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with black. The visual weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 48 victories, including 34 knockouts, with only three defeats. Damas y caballeros de la zona norte, Tijuana, Mexico. The three-time world champion, Eric El Terrible. Any punches thrown in this area, we consider the clean punch. Any punches on the upper half, 
throat and this area will be clean. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep the fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Touch gloves. Good luck. What is wrong One thing we haven't mentioned, last year there was the big dispute over the gloves. Manny Pacquiao felt that he had to, was forced to wear winning gloves, which reduced his effectiveness. He is wearing his more favored Reyes gloves, which he feels is a puncher's glove, which will increase his chances tonight. Oh, and Manny waiting to get out of the gates. Yeah, he'll come running right across, folks. Fireworks. Well, Schedule for 12. He'll run into a great fighter right across the ring from him. Both fighters wearing white trunks, but it shouldn't be too hard to tell them apart. Eric Morales on the left side of your screen. Manny Pacquiao, the pride of the Philippines. The southpaw. Manny's got the flames on his trunks near the bottom. And we're seeing a much more fit, much more solid Morales than was the case last we saw him against Raheem. I was trying to do something that never been done, is win four different weight classes from Mexico. He's tied uh, Julio Cesar Chavez with championships in three different weight classes. One of the great talents of our time, Eric Morales. And Manny Pacquiao, one of the most exciting boxers of any time. And very composed the way Manny's coming out. Well, Surprised to see the discipline this both, early with the energy. Both fighters came in tonight at 140 pounds. The difference is that Eric Morales actually looks completely different than he did yesterday at the weigh-in. When you know he just looks like death at the way, at those weigh-ins when he has to get down the weight. And he looks so much better and so much more himself when he gets into that ring. You know, what they worked on in camp, I know Freddie Roach was working with Manny to use his right hand a lot more in the fight. He's jabbing a lot more. Before, it was a lot of jab, jab, left, jab, jab, left. They wanted to really utilize that right more often. This place is absolutely electric. Filled to the rafters. Pacquiao beginning now to start to uh, put some punches together. His speed of hand should give him an edge in that department over Morales. Much more reserved than we usually see Manny come out. Indeed working the right hand, trying to throw punches to the body. Right hand over the top for Pacquiao. Morales boring forward. Oh, good combination for Morales. Pacquiao's in trouble. Steps out of it, acknowledges, shakes his head. Boy, Morales. Straight punches for Morales. All it took was the first really good punch from Pacquiao, and Eric just doesn't like that. He refuses to be hit hard. He just got hit hard three times. You know, another thing he worked on was a lot more of a body attack, which he was going to a little bit earlier. Let's hope Morales, uh, Pacquiao, I should say, sticks to his plan. Oh, it started slow. But it's right where it was a year ago already. What a fast round, lightning fast. It speaks for itself. Keep your head moving. Don't let it stop moving for nothing. Keep up with the jab and counter. All right, there you see Morales coming in, forcing Pacquiao to give ground. That good right hand that hurt Pacquiao in the round. Pacquiao was backed up into the ropes and appeared to be in trouble there for a few moments. It started with a big right hand by Morales. Actually, it started with a big right hand by Pacquiao, and Morales decided, I'm coming right back. Body works working well. Keep your body. Freddie Roach encouraging that body work. Other than the strong combination Morales unleashed towards the end of the round, I like the body work and the counter hooks Pacquiao was throwing in the first. Round two scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao on the left side of your screen. And you saw in the corner, 
A different corner for Eric Morales this time. Remember, his father had always been in his corner. He replaced his father for this fight with Jose Luis Lopez. And uh, so that's why he's... There's some question as to how Eric might react tonight in a different situation. But it's a different set of cornermen that he has here this evening. And it's a different corner for Pacquiao as well compared to the chaos we saw last time. Counter punching for Pacquiao to the body. That stung a little bit. Eric just bring it on. Eric has a tendency. When he gets riled up, he wants to get into a war. He'll take it. Well, he was also saying, keep him up, because he felt he got hit low. And we mentioned the change of corners for Morales. He also trained, changed training camp. He normally trains high up in the mountains in Mexico. He trained his locale. He changed his locale for this fight to a different training location. So after the disappointment of the Zahir Rahim excursion into the lightweight ranks, he really changed up. Yeah, that was a disappointing loss and a bad loss for him. He's back at 130 now. Nice hard shot by Pacquiao. Yep. And this crowd reacting to another hard shot to the throw. face for Pacquiao. Morales is countering now. Now up now against the ropes. This is Pacquiao's type of fight. And Morales is agreeing to do it as well. Yeah, because Morales can fight this fight, too. But against Pacquiao, he's going into a guy who's got tremendous firepower. Morales, naturally the bigger man, and has to deal with the unorthodox southpaw style. One thing to remember, though, is Pacquiao now has been... Oh! Left hand, Morales. Big left hand, Morales. I don't know how he stayed up. Morales has the heart of a lion. Back comes Morales. Only Marco Antonio Barrera had ever put Morales down, but Morales was very close there. And even then, Rich, I remember that was a controversial drop to the canvas. That was a big left hand from Pacquiao. Really got the crowd to speed here. It's furious. It's furious inside that ring. Everybody's standing. Final 10 seconds of round two, and Morales almost went down. Oh, another huge right, right hook. Right hand for Morales right at the end. Wonderful round. Big scoring round for Manny Pacquiao. Well, that was a rare sight. That was an Eric Morales truly hurt. All right, let's take a look at it. You're going to see a big shot from Manny Pacquiao. He got hit, first of all, by Morales. Drove him back into the ropes. Morales, after a pretty good first round, but then... Well, here you see Morales again, backing up Pacquiao. But the big punch of the round was scored by Pacquiao. There it is. The beautiful left cross that sent Morales staggering across the ring. And I got to tell you, if those ropes weren't there, Rich, I think he goes down. No sense of panic in the corner of Morales. Obviously, consummate professional. Round three. These two didn't come in here to play patty cake tonight at all. I gotta remember to breathe, man. I'm I know. <laughs> I'm holding on to my heart here. Everybody else is too. You know the thing with Pacquiao, Rich, is that he's, he's obviously got an unorthodox style, but he always seems to be a little off balance. So when he gets hit, it, it seems like it has a greater effect because he's, he, his body physically moves so much once he gets hit. And it doesn't necessarily mean he's as hurt as he is. No, and he, he sometimes, of course, he works that to his advantage, too, by giving you some different angles. Now Morales is Morales coming back. answering with great counter punches. Right on the chin. Morales, I mean, he's one of the best you've ever seen just because he gets staggered. Oh, he's as tough as they come. Nice. Uh, never anybody tougher. Guarantee you that. Round three, folks. Rounds will be flying by. I don't think anybody inside that ring is thinking about 12 rounds. And you know, Alan, to add to that, as tough as they come and with world-class ability, sometimes they don't go hand-in-hand. 
And Manny Pacquiao's a pretty tough customer himself. Here he comes on the attack. That was a lightning-like left by Pacquiao that was really sharp and crashed into Morales' face. Morales on the attack. Pacquiao looking to Kenny Bayless for some relief. Not going to find it there. Now they meet in the center of the ring. Left jab for Morales. Another jab. Morales shooting that jab like a laser. Really being accurate with it tonight. Pacquiao stalking. In the corner. Under one minute in the third round, uppercut from Morales and a combination to the head. Pacquiao covering up and then he says, bring it on. Hey, these two guys want to fight. These two are warriors. <laughs> <laughs> this is as close as you're going to get to the gladiators. Look at Morales throw his hands down and say, is that all you got? Pacquiao coming back. A lot of time left. I'll tell you what, if you don't like this matchup, you need to find another sport to watch. It doesn't get better than this. And, I, and I'll tell you another thing, Pacquiao can do this all night. And Morales looks like he's in great shape, so we're in for a fun fight. Final seconds, round three. Both fighters trying to close out the round big. Tell you what, if you go by Corrales against Castillo and Morales against Pacquiao, Bob Arum against Gary Shaw makes for pretty good fights. <laughs> That's it. Don't let him get off of his punches. You don't bring it to him. Well, let's take a look at the action in round three. Good crisp right by uh, Morales, but Pacquiao that time countered very well with an overhand left of his own. Look at the stiff jab that Morales possesses. That is a terrific yeah, yeah, offensive yeah, weapon. Okay, The place is electric at Thomas and Mack. Two great warriors putting on a show through three rounds. Give and take on both sides. <laughs> Round four. I'm surprised people sat back down. After three rounds, I have Manny Strong uh, very much ahead. I think he's bringing the fight. I think he's being very aggressive, and he's landed the more telling blows. Nice combination there for Pacquiao. Case in point. I think Morales has done great with some counter punches, but not enough to steal the rounds in my eyes. I thought by this time in their first fight that Morales was already taking control of the fight, taking control of the style of the fight. Nice left hand for Morales. Pacquiao firing jabs, too, like Freddie Roach was asking to do. Nice sportsmanship there, touching gloves. Oh, yeah, these guys respect each other. Good combination from the Mexican. Pacquiao showing more movement in this fight, too, and doing, changing up with his attack, not just throwing his right jab and following it with the big left. He was kind of predictable in that last fight as that last fight evolved. No, you're right, Rich. Everything was a jab, jab, left. Jab, jab, left. Showing the full arsenal of, of attack tonight. Nice Beautiful jab by Morales. Wow. Morales is awesome with his skills. And Pacquiao has never looked better. Both fighters at the top level of their game tonight. Cut. Both love to fight. They love it. 
both born to fight. Hard shots by both fighters. I don't know if this one go in the distance, gentlemen. I know we've got warriors on our hands, but exchanging bombs like this, it, it's still early. And neither of these two is the kind that'll submit, though. Nice counter from Morales. Constant action from both fighters. Pacquiao up on his toes a little more. Good movement, final 10 seconds. Oh, good combination at the end for Morales. He's really accurate tonight. Very accurate. Morales very sharp in that last round. There you see him doubling up on the jab. Pacquiao saying no, it was nothing, but really his jab was something in that last round. There you see it again. Beautiful work by Eric Morales with his jab in that last round. I thought it was enough to win him the round. There he's actually backing Pacquiao up. You saw in the corner, very calm Freddie Roach. Now over to Eric Morales. You know, Richard, point out that jab, and if Morales sticks to that, it's pretty. It's going to be a difficult long night for Pacquiao to break through that barrier. It's exactly what he has to do. We're now round five. Rounds blazing by, just like the blazing fists of these two brilliant fighters, touching gloves. Boxing at its best. I get the feeling that, you know, these are two guys that, you know, 20 years from now, if they were up in the, in the same city, they'd say, hey, let's go in the gym and spar around. Oh, good left hand for Morales. Really snapping Pacquiao. It's that left, that hard charging left for Morales is doing the trick. Yeah, Pacquiao's going to have to use his power now. Morales is finding a home for the jab. And let me tell you, that's no mean feat against the South. Oh, here it is. Beautiful left hand, Pacquiao. And Morales took it right on the chin and took it well. Pacquiao refusing to get hurt. He's getting away from his head movement and the body attack that he had in the first couple of rounds, Rich. And that was really working for Man. Yep, he can't stand himself there and let there is showing some movement from the Good west. Good right hand. And, and that's when Morales unleashed the right. He Beautiful counter Another right hand, Morales. Then a combination. Pacquiao coming back with a flurry, but really hard, accurate punches in this round for Morales. If you let him get off with that right hand, you're in big trouble. Going to the body, pack out. Look at pack out coming back with a flurry, but not that effective. A little footwork problem there for Morales. I tell you what, if you had to invent a perfect boxer, it'd pretty much be like Morales. Textbook all the way around, Alan. That laser jab is unbelievable tonight. Plus, he has all the intangibles, too. I mean, the great heart, the warrior spirit. The great chin. Exactly right. The only thing I ever complain about with Eric Morales is God gave him too big a nose to be a boxer. Yeah. He does have a prominent nose. <laughs> but he takes it well. He takes it. Well. That guy's coming down. Could he steal the round? Oh, that's Beautiful. a good left for Pacquiao. Hard punch. Coming up on 30 seconds left as these rounds fly by. Pacquiao coming back stronger in the end of this round. Another left hand landed there for Pacquiao. What a great heart he has as uh -huh. well. That left jab from Morales. I know. What are the judges going to do with this round? I have this no idea. This is a tough round to score, gentlemen. Hey. 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 Hey.
Si lo metes hacia arriba, con la cámara se la de Oper. When you get inside, throw the right, come up with the uppercut, go back to the body. Taking a look at the hectic action from round number five. Morales was controlling it with his jab, but then Pacquiao started to come back and landed some big shots, especially that beautiful left cross, which of course is his bread and butter. And you see the beginning to get marked up face. Freddie Roach invaluable in the corner because he presents a calm presence in all of the chaos. All right, seconds, let's go. This fight is flying by. Freddie Roach, such a great father figure, partner to Pacquiao. Freddie didn't always get along with his own father. He wanted more out of him as a boxer than Freddie was willing to give or could give. He's telling him, telling Pacquiao to work the jab. Well, he was trained by the great Eddie Futch, Freddie, and then he was an assistant trainer to Eddie Futch, so he learned a lot. And he was really ready when it came time for him to be a head coach. Right hand from Morales. Through five rounds, I have Eric Morales up by a point. How about you, Mario? I have Manny Pacquiao up by a point. Pacquiao coming on. Back a good right hand for Pacquiao. You know, he... left hand for Pacquiao. Hard punches. Now Manny's unleashing. How about letting your hands go? You just saw the speed. That's what Pac Pac-Man has. It's Talk a about tough an intangible. commodity. He seemed to kick it into an extra gear. Eric can really take a shot. Manny came out in the sixth round like he was down five rounds. Halfway finished, round six. Let's see who takes the latter part of the round now. We've been seeing these Beautiful back and forth rounds. But you know what makes these rounds so difficult to score is Manny will connect with a hard shot, but then Morales, hurt or not, answers with a combination of punches, some that land, some that don't, so it makes it very difficult to figure out who's hurt and who's not. Morales gets very insulted. Yes, he's a proud man. What an exchange. Manny backing up Morales. Pacquiao's having a brilliant round. Morales just countered. Oh, and a oh. huge left hand. Look at Manny's speed. That had to be one of the hardest punches Morales has ever been hit with, that left hook. Manny just let it out this round, folks. Manny kicked it into another gear. Right hand for Morales. Pacquiao didn't like that one. He rubbed at his nose when he ate that leather. Well, he, if he keeps his head still, Morales would eat him up with that one-two combination. And beautiful attack to the body. Ten seconds coming up. What a round six for Pacquiao. This is Pacquiao's biggest round in the two fights with Morales. You're exactly right, Rich. Oh, and saved by the bell, and there's no pun intended there. Let's take a look at Pacquiao's big round, a huge round for Manny, and he did it with both hands. There you see the left and the follow-up right. Later on in the round, the straight left forced Morales to give ground. And then that right near the end of the round, Manny Pacquiao was in complete control. And actually, you said stayed by the bell, Mario. He was saved by Kenny Bayless when he ran into Bayless, the referee, from going down. He was going down. That's twice now, Rich. He's been saved either by the ropes or by the ref. But Morales is a true champion. He will dig deep. And this fight just got extremely interesting. Round seven. You know, these fighters have touched gloves before every round. There's a great deal of I don't think Manny here. Pacquiao has ever fought a better round in his career. He had everything working in that round. Everything.
not just power, but speed and combinations. And Eric Morales is going to have to find a way to counter that round with one of his own. But look at the speed of Pacquiao. A different fighter than the one we saw in the first fight, completely. No distractions, more organized corner, no promoter problems. Man, he's digging in, and there comes Morales back over the top. Morales is making Manny go back. It is absolute pandemonium inside this arena. I don't think I've ever heard anything like what I'm hearing right now in this arena. This is a sheer out war. So much pride, so much at stake for these fighters. Countries behind them. Morales doing it in. Two great champions, two great warriors. Pacquiao now on the attack. It ebbs back and forth. These guys are invading into Castillo Corrales territory now. This is getting unworldly. Well, we already have a candidate for fight of the year. Morales has been in many of these. Oh, it's hard for me to contain the excitement. Like guys. the first one against Marco Antonio Barrera. Pacquiao being dedicated to the body. This is just breathtaking. Left hand from Manny, but it didn't hurt. Manny's speed is impressive. Can't emphasize that enough. And Rich, to see a war like this with fighters of this caliber is so extremely rare. One minute left in a scorching hot round seven. Left hand jab, nice job. Pacquiao back with the combinations. with his hands inside when they're close. Manny Pacquiao, when he was 11 years old, living on the streets of Manila, trying to survive. So this is nothing to him. This is just fun. From the poorest of the poor to a man making over $2 million in first tonight. Against the man who was born in the gym, grew up in a gym, lived in a gym. And by the way, extremely poor area of Tijuana, <laughs> Mexico. Oh my goodness. I believe another big round for Manny Pacquiao. Legs moving. Keep getting them angles. Eric looks a little worn down there. Morales does look a little worn down. Let me take a look. Again, that beautiful jab of Morales in the last round. Coming to the fore, you see it again. But Pacquiao answering back with a little right uppercut that surprised Morales. I gave that round to Morales. Believe it or not. Because well, I, I don't get a vote. I can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what fight you were watching, Al, but... <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Round eight. Already round eight? These, these rounds are kind of being fought in sections, you know? One guy dominates for 30 seconds, and the next guy for 20, and the other guy for 15, and the other guy for so 40. Was, you know, it's extremely difficult to score. It's ebb and flow. Morales going to the jab. Manny going to the jab and the combination. Manny's really impressed me with his jab tonight. That has been the big difference. The Manny jab, the body work, the hooks to the body. Right hand for Morales. Well, there we go. Manny speed counters. Pacquiao's added a few dimensions to his game, thanks to Freddie Roach. Yes, he has, but that still may not be enough to beat Eric Morales. Because you can't take away that jab that Morales has. We're in the eighth round, and this is far from decided, folks. Morales' great fights have been in fights where he's perceived as having a great challenge. Right hand for Pacquiao. And that hurt. Morales got hurt. You're right. Hey, 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 Morales is playing possum. He's playing possum. 
Lane possibly fooled us all, including Pacquiao. That was a scorching right hand Morales <laughs> through. Man, uh, that he was a savvy, crafty move. <laughs> Baiting him in. There's another dimension to talk about how crafty Morales can be. He just got tagged with a right hand. Let's see if he goes possum again. Countering again. Here we go. People believe what they're seeing around here. They're standing with mouths agape. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Artistry. I really thought Morales was hurt. And you know, if he is, he would never let you show. Don't play poker with this guy. <laughs> Manny Speed. Maybe winning this fight for him. Well, he's putting two, three, four punches together. Morales' shots are coming one more, one at a time. Thirty seconds left, and another hot round. And the combination's coming so fast and so often. It's amazing you can keep up the pace. Morales with a punch there again, but it's one punch. See, and Pacquiao answers back three, four, five shots at a time. Huge, huge punch by Pacquiao. Now Morales answers. Final ten seconds. You'll never get a better show, folks. It's not possible. This is as good as it gets. You gotta love both of them. Quit jumping into the punches. Be a little calm. Calm down a little bit there. Tell me Morales in his corner. As we take a look at the action from the last round, and it was red hot, but there's that big right hand. When Morales fooled everybody into thinking he was hurt, and he unleashed those two rights and drove Pacquiao off of him. What a shock that was, because it really appeared as though Morales was in deep trouble. Then Pacquiao answers with big punches on his own. Freddie Roach, by the way, also had to tell some of the people in his corner there to calm down, which was reminiscent of last year. The anxiety has to be going on in Freddie Roach's corner. This is an emotional fight, Alan. The emotion is unbelievable. Round nine. I don't know if someone had a heart attack or something, but I wouldn't be surprised. There's a commotion up in the stands. They're trying to get some help for somebody, but that's but these two fighters don't have any help. It's up to each individual. That's what it makes this such a great sport. Nobody but you. Round nine. I may have a seizure before it's over with. Oh man, I'll tell you what. It's just draining. <laughs> it sure is, but you know what? We're in the ninth round. History being made tonight. I can watch these guys fight all night. <laughs> they might. That was an interesting punch by Pacquiao. He leaned to the right and threw that left hand. He threw hand. a lead left hand. You don't see that. He's making it up as he goes. He's improvising in his fights. Well, he has had more in his repertoire tonight. There's no question than he did a year ago. Well, he knew he was going to need it if he had a chance against Eric Morales. Work out, work out, work out. Pacquiao abandoning the body attack a little bit, that which was working so well for him. And at the same token, Up Morales cut. abandoning the that. jab. That one hurt Pacquiao. Pacquiao relaxed for some reason and stopped punching, and Morales took advantage of it. <laughs> that lead left. Take your pick. Nice left hooks, right hooks with Manny. And he's he's taking Freddie Rich's advice and answering with a lot of hooks. Coming up with a lot of big hooks. Which of course is a punch that hurt Morales in the earlier rounds. Morales, one tough hombre. Oh.
Did you ever think it would be Manny Pacquiao with the better combinations? I didn't. He's surprising a lot of people. Uh, Inside 30 seconds, round nine. Well, he had to improve. He did. How much more of that can Morales take? He's got great willpower, but Pacquiao has great power. Morales taking a breather. Quick fatigue be setting in. Give him some water. Eric asking for more water. They're asking, are you tired? Are you tired? He says, no, I'm fine. Morales in the early portion of the round pushing forward. That's when Pacquiao, I mentioned, stopped punching for some reason, and he got tagged by Morales. But at the end of the round, it was all Pacquiao all of a sudden. And a beautiful crisp left hand. Pacquiao showing movement, showing different combinations, showing some angles. And I'll tell you what, both fighters looked a little winded in the corner, but you can't blame them. Pacquiao working a double jab. Round 10, we're down to the nitty gritty of this fight. Three rounds to go. A new and improved Manny Pacquiao. But will it be enough to beat Eric El Torrey Morales? You know, the thing is, in the corner, Morales seemed to be the most calm presence in the entire arena here. I think he probably understands what's going on in there. He's trying to figure out a way to stem this tide if he can. If there's anybody that can figure it out, it's Morales. That's another one of those intangibles you talk about. He has a great mind for the sport. Both of these fighters are intelligent fighters. Executing their game plans is another thing. And oh, vicious body attack by Pacquiao. Morales was getting away from a lot of those punches. He did a good job. The crowd defense. is very excited, of course. They see, but Manny is throwing punches and bunches. And the judges like active fighters. Morales does look to be wearing down, but every time I think that, then he surprises me. Answers with hard combinations. It would take two or three minutes to run down the list of all the fighters he's taken on in his career. And you have to wonder at some point, at some point, does he actually start wearing down? Alan, you make an excellent point because he's fought so many hard fights against so many elite fighters and never really shown war for wear. I think he's in a bit of a... Oh, oh, oh! oh. And we thought Morales was going down. Oh, and he does go down! He does go down. Picking up the count at eight. Okay. Morales, the heart of the champion, not giving up. Just over a half minute to go. Plenty of time for Pacquiao if he can find the right count. Oh, and a beautiful combination. Down goes Morales. Oh, 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 oh the fight is one. over. Will he find out one? one. Oh, oh, my God. God. Has beaten Eric Morales. Stoppage, Eric Morales. It is absolutely deafening in here. Absolute bedlam in here. And you can hear it all the way to the South Pacific. Manny Pacquiao has become the fighter that he needed to be to reach the top. They're going to do it again, Rich. They're going to do it again. Are you all right, Rich? An amazing fight. I think I'll sit down. <laughs> Rich just collapsed into his chair. 
There's the happy winner. He deserved it. He deserved this victory tonight. I'd like to see the cards where it stood. I had at the time the fight, after nine rounds, I had Pacquiao ahead 87-84 by three points. And seemingly pulling away. I had given him the last three rounds. They're still well. looking at uh, Eric over here. As we mentioned, we thought Eric was wearing down. And Pacquiao just unloaded. Big shots. There's that left to the side of the head that finally dropped Morales. Pacquiao coming forward. Tremendous shot. Great power that Manny has. He always had that power. But as you can see in this fight, Alan, this is a guy who became more than just a powerful fighter. Here's the end of the fight. Kenny Bayless doesn't bother to count. He calls it off. He became a complete fighter. That's And that's what it's all about. A, a year ago, he was predictable in his fight. He threw some hard punches. He made it close, but he wasn't at his best. He needed to improve, and he did. He needed more than what he was bringing into the ring to beat a champion of Eric Morales' caliber. He caught Marco Antonio Barrera on a bad night when Marco didn't know what he was in for. Now the whole world knows what they're in for. And the king of the 130-pound division is Manny Pacquiao. And he's a handful. And he's a handful when he's got all those weapons he brought in tonight. I mean, the beautiful jab, the speed combinations. The, he knew what he was doing. Freddie Roach has done a great job with this fighter. He's taken a raw, pure power talent and turned him into a fighter, and albeit even a boxer when he has to be. Well, he had a guy who not only had the power, but as you mentioned so many times during the course of the telecast tonight, Alan, the speed. So he had that God-given gift. And when you can hone both of those aspects, then you've got something special. Here's Michael Buffer. Kenny Bayless steps in and calls a halt to the bow at two minutes. 33 seconds of round number 10. The winner by TKO victory, Manny Hackman Pacquiao. You know, as we say in basketball, you can't teach seven feet. And in boxing, you can't teach speed and power. If you don't have it from God, you ain't gonna get it. But then when you take it, as Rich was saying, and you mold it, and you use your brain, and you turn yourself into the complete machine, my hat's off to Manny Pacquiao, a great guy, and my hat's off to Eric Morales for all the great wars he's fought for us, and Eddie Roach, what a job. Absolutely, and Freddie's very happy. I almost, called him, I almost called him Eddie Futch because of his trainers. It's Freddie Roach. I'll say this. Freddie Roach suffers from Parkinson's disease, and he has to fight that on a daily basis. And he is still attends to that gym, and he still trains brilliantly. Despite Parkinson's disease, Freddie Roach, magnificent trainer, and he's very happy up there. Even now, though, he's very calm. There's your recap, Rich. Early in the fight. It was impossible to tell who was going to win this fight because both men were having their moments. And it was clear, as you could see, that both men wanted to fight. As it went into round number two, Pacquiao trying to come forward, but Morales exhibiting the power and showing the left, the left jab that was able to set up Pacquiao for some of his power shots. Still, Pacquiao landed an early indicator as to what might happen with that left that staggered Morales badly. Now, as we take a look, sixth round, this is when I feel the fight turned around. I never gave Morales another round after this. I gave Pacquiao the last four rounds. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And as you can see, Pacquiao was using that speed. Morales would answer back sporadically, as you're seeing him do here. But his flurries were coming fewer and more far between. And then the thrilling conclusion to the fight, Pacquiao with that left hand sending Morales down only the second time in his career, the only man beside Barrera to put him down, and Pacquiao went in to prove himself a finisher, and he did it. He finished off Eric Morales. Okay, let's go to Mario.
with the toughest 130 pounder in the world right now. Manny, congratulations, incredible fight here. What was different about you this fight than the, the previous the, fight? The uh, previous fight. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the difference, I'm, I'm knocking him out and I won the fight. And also, uh, the difference is I'm, I, I'm training hard this fight and, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm careful to his head. What was the difference in this fight as far as the power? Did he ever hurt you? Did he ever feel that you were in trouble at any point? Uh, he hurt me that, uh, in how many times, but, you know, I can take his power, so... I'm lucky to survive that uh, that, that one. <laughs> you showed a, a huge arsenal of different punches. You had lead right hands, you were working the body, so the training with Freddie Roach really paid off. Oh yeah, also the, the right hand is improvement. My right hand is improvement, so I need to uh, more improvement on my right hand, so uh, I'm, I'm a very good boxer. And how, how about using the Reyes gloves? Do you think they were a huge factor in the fight tonight? Oh, that's uh, very effective that I'm uh, using the, my gloves, uh, Reyes, uh, because that, that's my gloves. Now there's a rematch clause, Manny. Do you think you'd like to fight him for the rubber match? Oh yeah, I like that. I, I, I want to rematch, you know, anytime, anywhere, but if, if he wants. So, any, and, and if not Morales, who would you like to fight next? Oh, Barrera wants to rematch me, so anytime I'm open. I'm a fighter, so I fight in the ring. So Barrera, Morales, possibly even Juan Manuel Marquez? Oh yeah, yeah, if he moves in 130 pounds. Manny, congratulations. Excellent fight tonight. Thanks, thanks. Thank you very much to all of you and to all, the, to all my fans, especially the American people and Mexican people and Filipino people all over the world who love boxing. Thank you very much to all of you guys. Great job, Manny. Your, your English has gone very well. Uh, <laughs> I got all that. Uh, Eric Morales has left the uh, uh, ring, Rich. He's left the ring. Eric Morales has left the ring, so we won't be speaking with him. I don't imagine. Here he is. I think. Th I think they want to go look at him. Yeah, they may want to take uh, Eric to the hospital, just you know, in the, as a precautionary thing. As you can see, he looks worn down as he leaves the as he leaves the ring. A lot of times, even if a guy doesn't necessarily want to or need to, they'll take him to the hospital just to have a look at him. But this is a man who's been through a war tonight, and you can see it on his face. Looks like his nose better. is broken. It's either swollen or broken. One or the other. That punch that put him down to the side of the head really scrambled him. That first one. That's a that's a that's a bad place to get hit. Right there behind the ear almost, Rich. I don't like to see those punches, but this guy, he was Pereira again. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask everyone to please rise for three national anthems. First, here to sing the national anthem of the Philippines, Ms. Sarah Geronimino. Sa simoy at sa langit mong bukaw May dilagang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kisnap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagdinigning Ang bituin at araw na kailan pa may di magtitilim Lupa ng araw na wal at ipagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Aming ligaya na pang may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil 
Pacquiao at his best. Oh, at his best. And he had such tremendous success with the body work, and he hurt Morales, and you never see Morales go down. Body work. get stopped. As you know, Mario, good body punches will stop even the greatest one. Oh, the bet is that you, it doesn't matter how many muscles you got, how tough you are, you will, you will go down after a series of good shots, or maybe even one good one. Well, a lot has changed since this fight, this defeat by Morales. He, he went up and tried to test out 135 with Zahir Rahim. That didn't work out. That didn't work out too well. So he's back down here at 130, and he decided, which to his credit, he decided to go with the new type of training, the velocity training. Train, they, they train top training groups in the world. They train a lot of Olympic athletes. His stamina wasn't there anymore. He knew he had to make a difference. And uh, not to uh, belittle anyone of, uh, of legendary Mexican status, but those Mexicans can be stubborn because they know about boxing and they know how to train. For him to actually admit that it wasn't the right thing that he was doing to me meant that you know, he's got a little bit left, and he's and he's very intelligent about it. No, he is, and he's an intelligent guy, just overall, Morales, not just as a fighter, but as a person. So, he, and, and here's the weigh-in, of course, and Manny looking rock solid, looking like the action star he is. Morales making his weight easily. He himself looking rock solid. I can only imagine if Morales, when everybody thinks he's just about done, here's the tail of tape, could win this fight tonight. What a legend. This would be, oh. Oh, Morales has the reach advantage. Morales is older. The height advantage, Morales usually always has that. But Pacquiao's got something we don't see very often. He is dynamite in a little package, and it doesn't take but one blow he land, and you are done. The rules tonight, the unified rules, three judges, ten points, no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is not in effect. Cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the ref can stop the fight, and an accidental foul will go to the scorecards after round four. Here's Pacquiao warming up, looking as sharp as he can look. Great combinations. Well, I'll tell you, do you not disagree, Mario, that if, if, if Morales can do this tonight, it puts him, uh, he's already one of the greatest ever, it puts him in another echelon. Well, like I was mentioning earlier, not only has he been in the greatest fights,
Fergus, Bob Arum's top rank incorporated is proud to present the grand finale, the third and final chapter in one of the great trilogies in boxing history, sponsored by PokerStars.net and the King of Beers, Budweiser. This bout is dedicated to the memory of a true friend of boxing. He was president of the European Boxing Union and for 30 years, executive vice president of the WBC. Rest in peace, Ruben Martinez. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Super Featherweight Championship. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Tony Alamo, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout are Guido Cavalieri, Dwayne Ford, and Glenn Trowbridge. And inside the ring, the man in charge of the action at the bell, referee Vic Draculich. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with black, official weight, 129 pounds. Professional record, 48 victories, including 34 knockouts with four defeats. He is the former super bantamweight world champion, former featherweight world champion, and former super featherweight champion of the world, Damas y Caballeros de la Zona Norte de Tijuana, Mexico. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with flame. Official weight, also 129 pounds. His professional record, 42 victories, including 32 knockouts with three defeats and two draws. From General Santos City, Philippines, former flyweight champion of the world, former super flyweight champion of the world, the reigning and defending WBC International Super Featherweight Champion Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Right, gentlemen. This is for the WBC International Super Featherweight title. You've received your instructions in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution you. Any punches below this point are going to be called low. Golpes de bajo, de este punto, ser llamado bajo. With that said, I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Obedezco mis comandos y pro de a su mismo siempre. Touch on it now, good luck to both of you. Token los, buena suerte. Final instructions from Vic Draculich. There are some fights that need no hype. The very nature of this matchup is totally ethereal. It's in a different realm, and this is the third one. I'm Alan Massengel with Mario Lopez. It is our thrill to be here at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas for Pacquiao Morales, number three, and the crowd is electric. I got to tell you right off the bat, Alan, Manny Pacquiao looks uh, like a welterweight. He, he looks inc incredibly fit, as he always does, but thick. And he's ballooned up, I believe, to 144 pounds tonight. 15 pounds above the weigh-in yesterday. Morales put on 10 pounds since yesterday. But he is near, the Pac-Man is near welterweight status as he enters the ring. You're exactly correct. Interested to see how that will affect him later on. Combination for Pacquiao to the body of Morales. 
And Morales gives him a sly grin. Oh, good uppercut. Woo. Oh, and Morales taking it extremely well. And he didn't even budge. Our statistician here alongside tonight reminded me that the last knockout for Morales was Goody Espadas in 04, and that's why he's gone to the Reyes gloves. Now Morales is on Pacquiao. I remember that was back at the Staples Center in L.A. Every punch, every movement, the crowd is totally, totally electric. Pacquiao, the world-famous southpaw, throws another body punch. That's what was so effective in the second fight. Manny Pacquiao, folks, only knows one way to fight, and it's not going to be boxing, I can tell you that. It's going to be fighting. You talk about punches and bunches. It's combination after combination when he wants to let him go. Morales changed his training. Morales looks small in there compared to Manny. I thought I'd never see that day. What an ironic twist, because the story leading up to this was Morales, is he able to make the weight? He himself looked like a middleweight just months before this fight. He's gotten himself in tremendous shape. And Manny comes in looking as thick as ever. I've never seen him this thick. Oh, and a beautiful right hand. hand counter hook by Manny Pacquiao. Morales taking it well right on the chin. And another one by Manny Pacquiao. And another, and this added weight seems to have added even more pop to Manny Pacquiao's punches. I know Morales is feeling him. Like I said, Morales tried to counter, but I don't know if he can match Pacquiao's power tonight. I've never seen him stronger. Yeah. This is the exact same thing from round one of the first fight. Morales, overall, is the more complete, technically skilled fighter, but you cannot deny Pacquiao's power, speed, aggressiveness. It's unparalleled. And explosiveness. Now, Morales Jenny. has already found Pacquiao's power and tasted it early on. Final 10 seconds of a scintillating first round, which we come to expect. Another combination from Manny Pacquiao. Good round for Manny Pacquiao. Morales has been in retreat, as I don't know that he expected to come in against such a baby bull as Manny Pacquiao tonight. Manny Pacquiao wasn't as explosive, per se, with a bunch of punches, but I've never seen him look stronger. We're asking to stop him. You gotta work inside and outside. <laughs> A beautiful uppercut by Manny Pacquiao. And here comes the big right hook, I'm sure. Oh no, this is Morales Morales coming out. There's, There's the, the big right hook. And Morales felt that. Round two, and I don't know if Morales can withstand those hard punches all night. He will have to find a way to outwork and outbox Pacquiao and keep him off of him. Because Pacquiao is mighty strong, folks, tonight. Round two, scheduled for 12. There's a little jab and a combination for Morales. And don't count Morales' savvy out. And what's that? Pacquiao fighting back and turning it into a and counter. Morales shaking it off, saying he's got nothing. Here we go. Just what we expected and exactly what Manny Pacquiao wants. Morales is too slick, too sly to get caught up. Oh, and good right here for Morales. A good counter. And Manny says, bring it on. The more you hit him, the more he wants. And both fighters exchanging with running forward punches and acts of aggressiveness. Morales tried to sneak a little uppercut right there at the end of that. Good round for Morales so far. Which happens to be Morales' best punch. Morales doing what he needs to do best in this round. I think maybe he was caught a little bit surprised in round one by the guy he was facing. We haven't seen this Manny Pacquiao in the ring. No, he hasn't. And he's the, Morales one of the best is making adjustments and changing strategies if need be. Morales wanting to show the world his good right hand, show the world nice that he's count. not done. Eric Morales 
never shied away from the best out there. You Bra can Manny hear the punches from Manny Pacquiao landing. Nice counter by Eric Morales. Oh, and that is a knockdown by Manny Pacquiao. That is a knockdown by Manny Pacquiao. Eric Morales in the corner. And let's see if Manny Pacquiao and his newfound physique has enough to close the show. But Morales is not going to go down lightly. Good right hand for Morales. Now he's holding and hitting. This is getting to be interesting to say the least. Morales has gone down. He tends to get his dander up when he gets knocked down. He didn't seem like he was really wobbly, but he wants to come back and put Manny, Manny down if he can. And this is a war, folks. We've got ourselves in a Oh, my war. gosh. This is what boxing's all about. This is the kind of career both these fighters have had. You put them in the ring, you get nothing but this. Explosiveness. And I only can't remember when I... Right hand for Morales. The punches are coming so fast. There's a left hand for Pacquiao. It was a left hand that did it before. Oh, and oh. another beautiful combination by Pacquiao. And Morales has got to keep his head moving if he wants to stay in this fight. And another combination. A nice landing by Eric Morales. And this is not the sort of fight that Eric Morales needs to be in. Guy Morales oh. is talking to Morales. Manny in the world. An email. <laughs> something that I don't know if I can repeat on national television. And that is one of tough hombre. <laughs> Gosh. Was it a knockdown or was it more of a slip? Morales coming forward. That, I, I, I'm going to say that's a legitimate knockdown. I'll say so. <laughs> he came back with a vicious left hook. Here's a better angle. Knockdown. And he didn't seem to be too off balance. No, that was right on the chin, and he went down. That was right on the chin, right on the jaw. Jaw, right above the jaw. Right Bam! There. He brought that from left field, and with that, with that, with that power. Here we go, round three. And Eric Morales must have hurt me because he spit some water right at me <laughs> between the rounds. We live in the same neighborhood. He also lives in Chula Vista the bordering town to Tijuana. He moved about a mile and a half from my parents' house. <laughs> and you wanna know the irony to that? That Marco Antonio Barrera <coughs> bought a house recently in the same neighborhood. Oh my goodness. So go figure. Here comes Morales trying to work behind his jab. A good body shot from Morales. Beautiful body shot. Probably the best punch of the night for Morales so far. I'll tell you what I found out about Morales. His new training has already made him stronger than I've seen him in quite a while. Oh, man. And I'll tell you what. If he wasn't in such phenomenal shape, he wouldn't have been able to take the hard shots that he just took right now. And he's a little hurt. Those legs look a little wobbly. Yeah, that was a strong left hand. Pacquiao going to the body. Then back up. Oh, the right hand. That goes Morales. Pacquiao covering up. Have you ever seen the heart of a champion... Well, he just refuses right to go in a beautiful right counter by Manny Pacquiao. And Morales is not going down, and Pacquiao urging him. So let's get ready. Let's do this. He's doing exactly what Manny Pacquiao wants him to do. Oh, and another beautiful right hook. Oh, no, Manny Morales. It all look night. at Manny trying to finish. Several shots to the head. Morales is stunned. Morales. Trying to shake it off. But he's been hurt. Go down. Pacquiao oh. knocks it down. That's the fight. That's it. That should be it. That's he's it. Gotta stop it. That's got to be it. Oh, my gosh. He can't Manny Pacquiao, so powerful. He can fight middleweight right now. Morales. Oh, he's got to get out. Oh, no. I don't know. He went down in a heap of trouble. I don't know about this. What a heart. What a champion. Eric Morales gets up. And another huge combination. Morales' Rallis, eyes are glazing over. He's still trying to throw. He's still trying to throw, and he's wobbly. Manny Pacquiao looking unbelievable tonight. And Morales coming back with beautiful Rallis combinations. Morales comes back. Morales, comes back. Morales coming back with a combination. And he needs to hold on, Alan. He needs to hold on. He needs to hold on for this round. Incredible. I can't believe he survived this round. Incredible. 30 seconds, a long way left in this round. And Manny Pacquiao teeing off. 
Pacquiao leaving himself wide open. Morales doesn't have anything to counter with. He's trying to survive. Now he jabs and backs off. Unbelievable. Morales, a true gladiator. 15 seconds. Down goes Morales again. Again, he's down. And the look on Eric Morales' face looks like he doesn't want anymore. That's, that's it. it. He called it a day. He says, that's it. Oh, my gosh. Mario Lopez. I've Ivers. never seen. Manny Pacquiao has just put himself in the class, the best pound for pound in the world. He's got to be ranked number eight. He looked like a young Mike Tyson in there. Unbelievable performance he by could, Manny Pacquiao. He could fight Mayweather right now, and I don't know if Mayweather could handle the pressure. Unbelievable the way he looked tonight, Alan. Manny Pacquiao has just put himself on top of the boxing world with that performance. That's what the fans want. That's what they pay to see. And I've never seen a guy come in with a body structure completely the opposite of what we've seen in the past, from his legs all the way up. Morales knew it from the get-go. He was not going to be strong enough. Allen, and I'll tell you what, I thought that was going to work against him. I thought he wasn't going to be as fluid with his punches. I thought he was going to be slower. I thought it was going to wear him down. And what a show, an active class and a sportsman. Manny Pacquiao coming over and checking on Eric Morales and being truly a great champion. And it needs to be said right now, this may be the end of the line for Eric Morales, but no one has ever been better. No one There's has ever been, been a better. greater class act. There's no one that we've loved more to be around than Eric Morales. But you know, time, time moves on. Let's take a look at the first knockdown right now. Bam, left hand, and I don't know how he got up from it. Just the heart of a champion. Here it comes, little jab, and then a combination wide open right, dead on. And the last one coming up. This is what did it. Morales knew he shouldn't get up, or he may be permanent damage. He's already wobbly at this point. Pacquiao's speed, his power, the way he was able to just drill straight in. An amazing, amazing night and an amazing performance. Manny Pacquiao will put butts in the seats. People want to see this. They want to see the most exciting, powerful fighter we have out there today. There's no doubt now about Manny Pacquiao and what he brings to the table. I don't care if you're a boxer, a puncher, to come up against quickness, speed, power, explosiveness like this man possesses, he can dominate, and he's just now coming into his prime. Let's hear the announcement Ladies from Michael Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, Buffett. the end comes in two minutes, 57 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory, the fighting pride of the Philippines, still champion, Manny Pacman Pacquiao. I tell you what, folks, I there was nobody to root against tonight. Eric Morales went over briefly to talk to Manny Pacquiao. He's made his way back to his stool. He's, he's hurt. And it hurts us to see him hurt. Of all the great wars he's been in, Marco Antonio Barrera three times. There he is, back on his feet. Manny Pacquiao now three times. Every great challenge out there Eric Morales rose up and took the challenge. Carlos Hernandez, Jesus Chavez, Goody Espadas twice, Pali Ayala, Injun Chi, Kevin Kelly. Uh, you can go on and on. Wayne McCullough. Eric Morales met that challenge. But now he's had 53 professional fights. He's 18 and 3 in his world championship fights. Three world championships, Eric Morales. The only other fighter to ever do that, Julio Cesar Chavez. Eric Morales' legacy is solid. But it's Manny Pacquiao's time. Manny Pacquiao came in here at 27 years old, dead in his prime. Absolutely, with a great trainer in Freddie Roach. Yes, yes, Trained yes. incredibly well, yes, always. Weighed in at 129, came in at 144. We hardly recognized him. I don't think Morales did either. The power and the speed 
And it is just pure fighting heart of Manny Pacquiao is incredible. And his last 20 fights, 16 wins by knockout. And I'm sure the entire nation of the Philippines tonight will be celebrating for many days to come. We anticipated tonight, but it was such a fast-paced fight, I was going to tell you that we anticipated 65 million people out of the 80 million people in the Philippines would be watching this fight. And if they were one of the 15 million who didn't watch it, they're awfully sorry they didn't. Because this will be one they talk about for ages. Eric Morales is still on the stool. I'm a little bit concerned about him. They're putting ice on the back of his head. He's obviously disappointed. He's obviously been hurt. I don't think he's ever taken a harder punch from anybody in his career. And we went over him. Uh, Barrera, no. First two fights against Pacquiao, no. Now he gets up off the stool. Just want to keep you updated on him. He sits back down. It's been, he's obviously in agony. There's some of the citizens and maybe some of the U.S. citizens from the Philippines. I think they're just a little bit happy. Manny Pacquiao's doing interviews. We will get to him as soon as possible. Many friends and advisors of Eric Morales now are telling him he has nothing to be ashamed of. He is upset of his performance because he's a great champion, but he does not have anything to be ashamed of.